What's up, Team Insanity? You know me, Toy Insanity. Happy New Year today is January 1st. Got a little bit of that games insanity. Board game insanity. All right. This is actually from Spin Master. It's called Zodiac Clash. Master the signs, control the stars. I found this for $5 at TJ Maxx. And I figure even if no one comes into my life this year that I could play the board game with, I can at least have those little token mover pieces in my collection. Zodiac signs hold great power bestowed unto you through your unique personality. Are you a Virgo who can instruct stars to move? A Libra who can change the orbits of the solar system to restore balance? Or a Gemini whose dual personality can move in two different directions? Choose a Zodiac sign, discover your hidden potential, and let your fate rest in the stars. Align four stars to win. I mean, this just looks super cool. Beautiful. Context, 12 movers, 12 cards, and, uh, you know, the apparatus. What a beautiful looking game. All right. What is the deal? Let's just explore these pieces. If nothing else. Who do we start with? Aries? I mean, they look pewter, but they are indeed plastic. Aries is the ram, very sharp. Taurus is the bull. Super cool. Gemini is the twins. Cancer is the crab. Crab people. Leo is the lion. Virgo is the uh, pure lady. Okay. Libra is the scales. Libra should be the only non-animated, non-living symbol of the zodiac. The constellation itself is the scales, the balance. Very cool. But I'm going to show you two more. Hey, you know, they're represented as inanimate objects. But I, I'll, I'll describe it in a minute. Scorpio is the scorpion. Sagittarius, they're shown just with the, the, the bow and arrow here, but it's technically the person holding it, the archer. Sometimes it's shown the archer is to be a centaur. But it's not. The sign is not actually the object, the bow and arrow. That's not the case with Libra. The sign is the object of the scales. But there's your Sagittarius, the archer. Uh, who's next? Capricorn. The sea goat. Very cool. A mer goat. Aquarius is the water bearer. Okay? Now here it's just ramp represented by the amphora. But you know the sign classically is the person. It's the entity bearing the water. Not necessarily the object. But there you go. A classic amphora just pouring out uh, you know, love and light. Okay, this is Pisces, of course. The fish. All right. Look at these little star pieces. This you pop together to put in the middle. Let's just look at some instructions. This is already pieced together. Oh, that looks intense. Zodiac cards. Whoa. Instrucciones. Zodiac Clash, must be in master. All right, let's see what's up. Ugh. Take the 18 disc clips from the box and place six on each of the three. Okay, they're just showing you how to use the clips to finish assembling the board. Uh, take the center post. You're going to make this big star coming up, center post, and the two pieces of the sun. Let's get the gist of the gameplay. 12 Zodiac signs rule the cosmos, each with their own personalities and powers. In the game, you will choose one to control, giving you an exciting, rule-breaking astral power. If you can align four of your night stars before your opponent, you will have shown that you are worthy of wielding its power in your own life. To begin the game, choose a Zodiac to play as. While many people like to play with their own Zodiac sign, the choice is yours. 
different signs of different powers. So it's recommended that you try playing with different signs each game until you find the one you like the most. If you're unsure about which zodiac sign is yours, turn the instructions over to see the details. Okay, setting up the board. Oh, nice! Little bios and such. Ares fearlessly roams the cosmos, brimming with the fire of new adventure. Your deep-seated wanderlust drives you to constantly explore new directions, forever building your empire with energy. Oh, these are well written. Congrats to Spin Master. Gemini, curious, versatile, intellectual, life direction, responsive. Maybe we'll meet, read some more of those, but let's look at these cards first. Are they going to say the same things as those? Okay, it's the same things as those. Two players with compatible sign versus two players with incompatible signs. Four players with mixed compatibility. Look at these sharp cards. Aries. All right, I'm just going to read the thing at the top for each of these. This is cool. Five dollars? Are you kidding me? Aries is known to be honest, impulsive, energetic. His or her life direction is to be courageous. Pisces. Intuitive, musical, adaptable. Life direction, compassionate. Very cool. Aquarius. Assertive, eccentric, inventive. Those are great qualities. Life direction, friendly. How about some happy cappies? Cap or corn? Patient, strategic, and disciplined. Nice. Life direction, steady. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Sagittarius. They're optimistic, ambitious, humorous. Now, one dominating life direction of the Sagittarius is to be philosophical. Scorpio. What do you know about those Scorpios? Idealistic, passionate, and unyielding. Life direction, brave. Brave and courageous. Libra. How sharp that card is. Cosmic Clash. Hey. Active, artistic, and diplomatic. Life direction is charming. As a charmer seeking as a charmer seeking balance, Libra is the heart of fair play and diplomacy. Superior intellect wrapped inside an easygoing exterior. You are always ready and looking to start a new adventure. Ruled by Venus, you entertain the need to be enriched through art, music, and beautiful locations. All about that aesthetic, huh? Libra is a born diplomat, able to charm others, present into changing directions to create the balance you wish to bring to the world. Astral powers. When your zodiac mover is on a ring, you may move that specific ring the opposite direction. All rings above the one you're spinning still move with the ring you're in. Okay. Sounds like a fun game. I was just excited about these. Okay? But if I only had a friend, one true friend, I would play this game. I would play it and I would win. Okay. Cosmic clash. Insanity. Cosmic dominance. All right, quickly, let's learn about Virgo. Practical, industrious, and analytical life direction. Conscientious. This says for age eight and plus. I would love that an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old is just like learning these words and concepts. I don't have any problem with this game. Leo, powerful, creative, and generous. Life direction, exuberant. Cancer, sympathetic, tenacious, and persuasive. Life direction, loyal. Okay, okay. Okay, Gemini, curious, versatile, intellectual, life direction, responsive, Taurus, affectionate, stable, stubborn, life direction, dependable. <laughs> All right, well, who are you? What's your sign? Girl, what's your sign? What's your name? What's your number? I would like to get to know you. All right, happy new year, Toy Sanity, just having a little fun with a $5 game. Well, this is dumb. You can't even see the tops. But, uh, yeah, I would legit play this game. All right. Happy to have the movers, even if I never have a friend. All right. Thumbs up because you're my friend. you my subscriber. You done like and shared and subscribed. And, uh, and, and thanks again. Happy New Year. Love you all. Goodbye.